Hey everybody, it's XS Master X. Welcome back to another episode of Hopkins Velocity X. In the last episode, I did a couple of jobs. I blew up a rocket ship. Um, now I'm going to be showing all the gears in Hidden Key and Burnout Glacier. This is actually the second time I've done this episode because um, in the last attempt at this episode, while well, it's partway through, um, What am I trying to say? When I'm part way through... I'm sorry, my brain just went completely blank. Okay. I was part way through this joyride when somehow my mic got unplugged or something. Like, it just kind of stopped recording audio. And so yeah, here I am doing it again as a result. Alright, and probably for the better in the long run because now I know that Vulture is actually a pretty good car to use during this. The one that we just got from Slick. Because I had some trouble getting these fir th this gear in the first couple I mean what am I saying? The, ki this, the key in the first couple of gears with a couple of other cars. And I kind of tried a few things and I think I eventually found <coughs> Vulture to be probably the best choice. Like, that didn't take nearly as long as it did in the last attempt. Okay. So, hopefully this will go a lot more smoothly so I can get a lot more done. Alright. I'm trying to think if I talked about anything in the last episode that really needs to be said again. There's nothing I can think of right now. But then again, there's also no archive of it, so I can't exactly, like, remember. Okay. And then across from here is gear number one. And I gotta admit, these first couple gears are kind of challenging if you're, like, using a slow car or whatever. Vulture is uh, one of my favorite cars in the game. It's just really... F it's kind of like really fun to play as because of its high speed and stunt, and as a result, it's useful too. Also, as a result of me like doing the hidden key, the hidden key and gears in the last episode, I already unlocked the stuff. As you might have seen if you were very perceptive, on um, as I was selecting this car, and I'll be kind of going over what those are. Um, once I finish this again. There was one car that got, I think it was Lakester, that got crossed off of the list I have here of the cars which I aren't overshadowed by any other car. No, this wasn't Lakester actually, that's still there. It, it was some car, I don't remember what it was. I'll probably just like list all the cars that I have on my list here. First of all, just because I need, it's good to kind of establish that. See, that went way more smoothly. That took like 15 minutes in the last take, and here I am at like 4 minutes, and I've already done it. So yeah, that was, that was pretty awesome. It really, choosing Vulture really does make, like the cars you choose really does actually make a big difference in these joy rides. For how easily you can get some of the items. Yes! Styling. Okay. I probably should have gone the other way first, but eh, it's too late now. Nothing we can do about it. Alright, that gear is pretty easy, not much fuss. Also, another thing that will make this go more quickly is I actually clearly rem I pretty much actually remembered where all of them were already somehow which is <clears throat> weird because like these are in some pr pretty weird places which is actually probably why I remember them here's one here and annoyingly there's another one like right next to it it's not here it's on the other side but I'm pretty sure that tripped me up quite a bit as a kid like I thought since there was a gear there <clears throat> that <clears throat> I could kind of guess that there was another one nearby well, I don't know. I remember that being a problem at some point. 
But I don't think that's really how I thought it when I was playing this as a kid. So I don't know. Like I kind of thought I need to check every possible area. There's also one in this little room where we had the power outlets. Wait. Oh no, that's, I think that's in the upcoming job. Never mind. Ignore me. I, didn't, I never said that. And I said the wrong term anyway. Um. Okay, where is it? Did I collect it and just not notice? I hope not. No, I'm pretty sure it's in here. Yeah, there it is. Alright, so onwards we drive. <coughs> sorry if I sorry I'm coughing a bit. It like I'm not sick or anything, I just like ate a popsicle before I ate this and it's kinda stuck in my throat. Lesson learned. Alright, that one's easier to get if you're coming from the opposite way, but full in fact I actually had trouble getting up there in the last dig. And now I don't because I'm playing as Vulture. So just word for the wise, choose Vulture. Always. For everything. Always. Like, that's what I'm learning from this. <laughs> that's what experience has taught me. And that other gear is also easier to get from the other direction, but I also missed something important. Um, I think I was supposed to go down the other road. The roads in this place are kind of weird. Like, there's one that goes down here into this area, which, as I commented in my last attempt, or my last recording of this joyride, isn't really used for anything. It's just kind of a power plant. It's kind of interesting, and here is right here where you just kind of look up into it. That's kind of neat, I guess. Um, actually, I think I want to go the other, the right fork. It's going to be more clear where the last gear is from there. Alright, so... Because of preparation, which wasn't meant to be, I got this done in like half the time. It take, like, not even kidding, it took like so long. It took like literally 25 minutes to get it last time. And just like choosing a different car made it so much better. <laughs> like it's the weirdest thing ever. Okay. I'm not enough of ranting about that. I just like am so amazed by how this worked out. <laughs> Alright, put on our shield for absolutely no reason. And let's see no I missed. I, I probably, the jet booster seemed to kind of like make it go down a bit, so probably don't want to do that. Okay. Um. Ah. Dang it. Okay, the way that, uh, like, you have to angle into that ramp is, like, really throwing me off here. Okay. No, I'm not going nearly fast enough to get that. Am I, like, going on the wrong ramp or something? Like, is there something I'm not seeing about this? Because that doesn't seem right. Maybe I'm actually just supposed to jump off the edge and not off the ramp. That might actually be the case. Okay. Yeah, that, that seems to be getting closer results. Okay. Um, I'm kind of worried about the fact that I don't have any turbo. Let's see if I can make it. No. I needed more control than the well is given. And I also need... Which can be acquired with turbo. Generally more reliable. Okay. That should do. See if I can get my aim right. 
<clears throat> I probably don't have to go so far back. Let's try it from here. No, I screwed it up. Okay, I'm gonna. Maybe you do have to go back after all. Like, all the way. And I'm getting impatient trying to climb up the mountain rather than just going around. Eh, that's typical. Okay. Uh, huh. Maybe I should be changing up my approach to this. So close that time. I'll get it soon. Don't you worry now. You know, other than those specific challenges, what does the points meter in the top left of the screen like? What is even the point of it existing? Like, I I just don't understand. Ah! Oh, just a little bit below. <laughs> okay, I was gonna say something like I was a little bit below on the Z axis, but horizontally I was in line with it. And I didn't say it because I was like thinking about whether that was like the right thing to say. Because, like, isn't technically horizontal just the x axis? So I'd actually be talking about the x y plane and with z being up and down. So, would that be. Is it be safe to consider that horizontally? Like, or not safe? I mean, no one's gonna kill me for it, but. Would it be accurate? That's what I wonder. Because while I am interested in like basic, like, theoretical physics and math, I'm going through high school, so I don't like know that much about it. Or like, what specifically? Oh, yes, I got it. Okay. Shadow Jet and Surface School Bus are the cars we got from this joyride. Uh, oops. Okay. So, the cars I have on my little notepad, like the computer notepad, are Hypermite, Diora 2, Hyperliner, Lakester, Vulture, Shadow Jet, and Surf and School Bus. I don't know what got cut since the last time, but that's what I have as viable cars right now. But anyways, as for now, onwards to adventure! I feel like that's a reference to something I don't remember. Hey, where'd he go? We need that information! He didn't by some stroke of luck leave a map in his car, did he? Well, let me check. Yeah, he did. At least he held up his end of the bargain. Most unexpected for a walking, talking air filter. <laughs> well, get back here with the map and I'll do an analysis on it. Doc, I finished analyzing the data cube. This data is unbelievable. According to these computations, excessive speeds from the super fuel and the leg warping properties of invisibility, it might just be enough to bend the laws of physics. You could use the new prototype card for time travel? Indeed, my mechanical friend. That's the secret of Velocity X. I halted the research into this formula years ago because of the terrible risks associated with altering time. But Otto could never let it go. Okay, let's say for the moment I buy into this whole Velocity X thing. What would Otto use it for? My guess is that he wants revenge by eliminating our production of Hot Wheels cars. To do this, he still needs to locate the temporal transmission that he and I built in our old lab. 
It's impossible to control when or where the time travel effect will take you without it. Incoming transmission. Rupert Jacoby. Hello, Peter. Been a long time. You wouldn't perchance be interested in getting that temporal transmission you used to be so proud of, hmm? Rupert Jacoby. I wondered when you'd show up. How's your boss, Otto Von Diesel, doing? Still showing your misguided intentions by following his orders, I see. What's your business in all this? I'm simply inviting your son, Max, to a little exercise of driving showmanship. First, he must get the temporal transmission. And then, in the piece de resistance, he must race me. I'll put up the Velocity X formula as my part of the wager, and you put up the temporal transmission as yours. I can take him, Pops. Let me do it. What does this temporal transmission look like? Where can I find it? Max, I have a bad feeling about this. Rupert was Otto's best driver. But I don't see any alternative. We have to get those original discs back. I'll give the info to Gearhead, and he'll guide you. But please, be careful. Okay, so that Rupert's design kind of bothered me during that cutscene because I like the way his mustache moved up and down. Also, when I was a little kid, I always saw like his eyes as being um like red and glowing, but now looking back at it, they're probably just closed for some reason. Okay, what do I want? Oh, I think I want armor up here. I remember that being a problem in the last attempt. I never actually finished this. I just got to the race and I had to stop. Yeah, I chose Vulture again because it has it's the fastest car by a decent margin over the next like viable car, which is Shadow Jet. So I'm kind of showing blatant favoritism towards it, but you know what? I don't care. I'll do what is best for the Let's Play. And I kind of wish I had a weapon right, right about now. Oh, yeah. I did the exact same thing in the last attempt too. And if memory serves... No, that was, that was a different mission, never mind. <laughs> I wasn't really paying attention during that cutscene because I'd already seen it. Okay. Luckily managed to dodge those. And let's just grab the temporal transmission and go as fast as you can before they have a chance to try any nifty business. And they politely open the door for you. Oh, come in, come in. How have you been? And then they close the door like a gentleman. And now you destroy the four power sockets for some reason. I still don't understand why. But ju just do it, okay? Just do it! And there are enemies, but we haven't seen them yet because they are very weak sauce. Also, Vulture is amazing. Did you just see that jump I made? It was perfect. Alright. Didn't have any problems with the enemies. That that was good. <laughs> and it's still not even the end of episode 1 of the recording session yet. Oh yeah, now things get tricky. Because, oh my gosh. Yeah. You have a time limit and a ton of cones. And you have to collect time things to survive. And I think this time you're supposed to go this way. I probably could have gone the other way, but you know what? I'm not going to risk it. And now you must... Bring it back to these where you began, I think. Collecting time things along the way. You don't die. <laughs> uh, I keep running into cones because I'm an idiot. And 
let's jump off the ramp to make this a lot smoother. Like, were they actually expecting you to go down there? Pfft, screw that. I mean, maybe if you're just really low on time, you need to get some of the other time things.